Yo, yo, yo. We're back. Uh, it's been a while. So. I, uh, vaguely remember some of what was going on. Work of art is spied from afar. We're just gonna get right into it. Why not? I don't know. No time like the present. A dark smudge lingers in space, pulling everything in its vicinity towards destruction. Inescapable, the black hole even absorbs the light that enters its event horizon. But rays that narrowly avoid the event horizon are bent around the massive object. Space-time curves like a lens and the beams converge on a focal point behind the black hole, forming an Einstein ring. Stand at that lonely point in space and distant sights will appear magnified as if upon a vast canvas. I have no idea what the hell an Einstein ring is, but I guess we'll find out. Alright. Cufflinks carefully taken off before getting dirty. Yeah. We got the boy here we're trying to get. Okay. So it's like we're looking through like a telescope or something. Let's see. Anything here? What's he reaching for? Planets, I guess. Okay. Let's see, is there anything. We can go pretty far out. Is there anything up here? Doesn't seem so, so I'm gonna go back down. Oh god, <laughs> it's going a little too far out. It's probably like, I don't know, what if there's like an easter egg over there or something? Let's see, anything? Sprinkling stardust. This is really cool. Let's see, let's just keep following the trail. Oh. Is this him creating the black hole? Why does he? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Okay, it looks as if he stole something. He stole that. He's using it. Water from a pristine comet, now melted and saturated with interstellar grime. Man's painting. Oh, oh he's, he's painting himself, okay. Oh man, I... He's got a pen there. Oh, this I I really like this. I just want to take a moment because I really like uh, feeling small in games. It's pretty nice. I like it, and uh, this is a very interesting way of doing that with this perspective. It's usually like with a first-person perspective. I don't know what it is about seeing giant things, but it's just very. I don't know. It it, it either creeps me out or just fascinates me. One or the other. A press photo, pre-autographed and well-worn. Oh, thanks. An ornate fountain pen used to draw flamboyant, flamboyant lines. The ink has run dry. Okay. That was a quick one. Appeared. Alright, 
Let's see. We got a little fountain pen. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, there's oh a suspicious shape only folded space time, however. Okay. Leftovers from a dead nova. A dead end. A neutron star that has stopped spinning. Oh, the feeling of being watched overwhelms. Found another clue. Eyes look to the night sky and the stars proclaim that winter is approaching. An end of days is foreshadowed in the twinkle of dying stars and a harvest is gathered in preparation. Even subtler, yet more ominous patterns are witnessed through patient observations, such as the Saro cycle of eclipses, which occurs every 18 years. Those who return to the same location after the little of that, and I just skipped it. All right. Well, I did not mean to do that, <laughs> but hey. Observe. I feel like I've been very involuntarily twitching my fingers sometimes. Oops. Ooh. Ooh, I really like this. Oh, man. Whoa. It's like, what the hell? It's like YouTube 360 video. Constellations? Okay. The bottle illuminated by moonshine. The brewers raise a cup to the night sky. Okay, yeah, we are making constellations. Cool. Oh, let's see. What do you got? Mew, mew, mew. Oh. A timepiece made of celestial components. Priests pray that its light never ceases. Let's go over here. So, let's see. Uh -huh. Points linked into the shape of a sinister hand. The healers burn amputated limbs in its honor. Okay, let's see what we got over here. A village made from the heavens. The builders haul giant stones to recreate its brilliance. What else we got? Oh, that was a big one. Stars form an animal from childhood fables. Infants giggle at its foolish hurry. It's like a box. Lights are arranged in the shape of a drum. The dancers perform myths of a great battle. Some pretty interesting constellations. This is like wallpaper worthy. <laughs> yeah, that's this is a wallpaper. This is great. Let's see. What else we got? Oh. More constellations, huh? Let's see. Oh, not there, 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 there. 
Distantly pulsating stars portray a broken heart. Mourners wail to the unending darkness above. You can say that again. Like that. Comments fly by a dark celestial bird. Storytellers switch between a dove or a vulture based on their audience. It's kind of interesting to think about that in mythology. Like, different cultures, if they viewed, like, or if they had similar mythologies, they'd probably still view it differently. Like, regardless of whatever. Brilliant lights form a bracelet lost in tragedy. Under its light, widows ceremonially discarded their jewelry. A oh, widows ceremonially discard their jewelry. Hmm. These are giant ass stars. Twinkling stardust evokes sweet aromas. Maidens gather flowers under moonlight to cast a spell of attraction. Gravity has pulled matter together in the shape of a cosmic comb. Mothers weave celestial patterns into their children's hair. Vibrations of visible light reach distant eyes and evoke a lyre. Musicians compose songs as a dream. So, I guess these are seem to be different like deities. And what they're associated with. And basically this is Stonehenge. Oh, there's, there's like a lot more people unless this has been changing. Constellation of a tree shades the world. Lovers create new life under its ample canopy. A trail of stars embodies a, a serpent or a worm. Druids quarrel about its portent. I have no idea what that word means. I'm gonna have to look that up later. Portent. Fragments of the creator become celestial human figures. The dead take their place in the heavens. Oh, what are these two doing out here? Burning suns mimic a lit intoxicant. The chieftains are placed upon a pyre, and the smoke mingles with the stars above. Pyre. An ominous weapon that threateningly lingers over the world. Hunters make offerings of blood to it. One of these days is gonna be the jazz boy we've been following. Okay, wait, wait, what about these two? Yeah. Stars cluster to form a cornucopia of overflowing gifts. Worshippers pray to it for a plentiful harvest. Oh, I like this guy's beard. He's styling and profiling. Yeah, I dig that guy. <laughs> I'd probably worship him. Why not? Whoa. An effigy. The 
horn of a dead creature spirals into a bouquet of flowers. The many species should be cataloged. A familiar photograph passed down through generations. A torch used to light a ceremonial beacon. And I guess we're done. That one was, I think, by far the most beautiful one. That one was my favorite so far. A big contrast to the ocean sea creature lovemaking thing. <laughs> I did not enjoy that. But this this one was sick. That one was nice. Alright. Starting to gather them up. Alright, let's see. We only got a couple more to go. Not too many. Void. Going through the motions. A rogue planet far from home. Investigation provides no new clues. A slight vibration, then nothing. Looks like a Tame Impala album cover. A near miss. Oh god. Alright, so it seems we have three these three left. Familiar trail leads to a new variable. Let's not try to skip this one this time. 9.5 billion years after the Big Bang, the ashes of an ancient stellar explosion began gathering in a single point. The crush of gravity compacted these remnants so tightly together that they ignited into a newborn star orbited by a halo of dust and gravel. Around this star, asteroids collided. Ever larger clumps of inanimate rock were formed and this protoplanetary disk would slowly gather into eight planets. Over the next 4.5 billion years, these plants spun silently in the void. For 99.998983% of the universe's age, the only histories written were in the strata of lonely geology. But this quiet would not last. Okay. Piece of golden shrapnel, remnants of a supernova. Well, there's a lot of them. Oh, that kind of looks like a. Oh, yeah, that looks like a person, like right there. Whoa, 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 we're going really quick. This is such a cool way of, like, storytelling. Recently fragmented into a sharp point, not accidental. Is he just punching it? <laughs> I'm curious to see what happens. Can you go 
back. What's back here? Oh, okay, there's nothing. <laughs>
Where the hell are we? Are we in some village? Some village on a mountain? You know, I've only been in snow a couple times in my life, and uh, I would really like to go snowboarding or skiing or something. That'd be pretty cool. I think the one time I did spend a lot of time in the snow, and like sledding, I got sick, so it was not fun coming back. And again, I did not wear the proper clothes for it. A fragile porcelain cup, presently empty. I need a leaf. Um, hmm, anything else? Let's see. We need wood, a bucket, and a leaf. Cool. I still never really have, like, mountain climbed. I'm more of, I think I'm more of just mountain bike than anything. Oh, we got wood. It remains of an tree old as time. Easy to set a flame. We got the wood, now we need the leaf and the bucket. I really didn't expect this game to like blend so many cultures and uh, styles together. Also, this kind of reminds me of uh, Aragami. If you ever played that game, another really cool game. But I will let you know, I am terrible at stealth games. 
I really like them conceptually and like mechanically, like the idea of like having to set up everything and going for the perfect run. But I am so bad at it. A pail of water to quench a powerful thirst. Okay. And then, well, I think a sequel already did come out. And while I would like to play it, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know if that would go very well. <laughs> I barely was able to get past the first game. I mean, I wouldn't say barely, but uh, simply a charming doll. More of the fact that a. Uh, this is hard. A small cup always accompanied by tea leaves. A woodblock print of a demon. Oh, well. Empty bottle of ink. Leaves. With these, the future may be divined. Now we can make some tea. Fragments of once precious possessions taken in lieu of unpaid taxes. Poetic words, a distraction from work. Food sizzle sizzling. That sounds good. Oh, or tea, I guess. I don't know. Either way, some sizzling. No! Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> this is not good. Uh... Oh. It's a whole ass backstab, actually. An assassin. I 
not gonna pin it on me, are you? Oh, what the? Oh, <laughs> I'm the demon? So, I believe an, a broken offering tray spots of blood washed clean by spring rains. So if I remember correctly, there's a... I, I cannot for life remember what culture does it, but there is a practice done where uh, you sort of fix things with gold. Um, and the idea is that like, oh, it comes out beautiful, having been broken and remade. Rather than like if you just glued it all back together. Uh, I might have to do some research, but I don't know. I'm probably uh, destroyed children's toys. Summer sun has faded the paint. But I think it's a really cool practice that used to be done. The idea behind it. Crush skull, frag fragrant with autumn's decay. I believe it was a uh, Asian culture that did this, but I can't remember which one specifically. Shattered ceremonial cup for discussions of peace over winter's tea. Shattered and remade, the cracks reveal unseen patterns, new lines of inquiry bloom. there. Just got one to go. I'm gonna really quickly check how long we're running here. Finish this up. We got one more to go. Might as well. 
Sound waves vibrate alluringly. Radio waves from the Big Bang echo all across the universe and recorded in their vibrations is a moment of collaboration. Electrons and protons, once heated rivals, cooled enough to come together in harmony. Their union created the first elements that left a song that plays in the background of the cosmos to this day. This phenomenon, called the cosmic background radiation, allows scientists to listen to the moment of the Big Bang and compose a timeline of the birth of the universe. Ooh, okay, we got frequencies. Yeah, that does sound like frequencies, all right. Improvisation. Improvisations. Whoa, he's fucking speeding through this shit. Live 125 Second Street. Or 125 Street. <laughs> Ooh. for a rock, rock, raucous music venue. Ninety sixth Street. Trying to get one hundred twenty fifth, I believe it is. Passionless characters immortalized in a wanted poster. Mobsters, maybe. Pretty sure the steps are even on beat. Poster for film noir. 
Paste flyer for Rigos Music Menu. Okay, yeah, we saw those. Jazz straight from WGLD Radio. Kickstart your musicianship. Deep Thinking by Luis Capello. Should have forgot it. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know you played though. jam session Okay, sorry, I was just having too much fun there. <laughs>
<laughs> Again, I was uh, <clears throat> having too much fun there. Or maybe not enough. Oh, no. Yo, we were jamming. What happened? An upright base, riddled with bullet holes, now quiet, as science requires contemplation. So, gangsters of the Mafia are also involved, huh? Oh, man. When they say you gotta face the music, I didn't think it was gonna be literal this time. the last one so um oh never mind is there more oh, I guess there's more <laughs> a rumor that goes nowhere a lone gravitational wave all right I get the feeling we're uh, we're nearing the end though so I'll save this last one for uh for later so uh Till then, another smoke break, and hopefully this won't be this one won't be as long. But we'll see where the case leads. And uh, I love music. Music's fun. Bye.